Tibbs, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Tibbs. That's me. Uh, I am okay. a former Hearthstone pro player, uh, Canadian national champion in WSG 2019, and uh, I play Marvel Snap now. I'm primarily a caster. I do stream, but I'm mostly a caster, so you catch me casting any kind of Marvel Snap opens that you find uh, in the community. And uh, because Twitch chat is Twitch chat, can you do pronouns there? Because I know. Oh, that they yeah. Are. Uh, my pronouns are they, them, she, her, or any. I, I figure Superflow is, is a lost cause, right? You're, you're avoiding that one and, and looking to shore up your bets on the other two? I mean, potentially. It really depends. Uh, from my perspective, like, if you can kind of swing a surprise push there at the end of the game off of the Red Skull points, I could see, you know, maybe, maybe like a. Doctor Doom adding something there, but Magic Turtle ultimately with uh, with the advantage here to play two oh cards and death you Doctor it. Doom. Everything leverages everything. <laughs> Odin coming in not doing anything except taking left and Turtle with the clean three lane victory. And this is a very very strong deck at competing for these locations like Kiln or a Storm Lane or any kind of location that's planning to get closed off in some way. Um, there's a lot of ongoing effects that are either shrinking your opponent's cards or uh, growing your own stats in lane. And this deck excels at fighting for these locations over time. And okay. Collins with the spicy rock slide. I don't know if he's going to yeah. stick it, but considering eight rocks into Oe's deck, I can faintly hear Ben Brode laughing in the background. The interesting thing to me here is that if you want to win Mojo World, you can't drop Captain Marvel on Mojo World normally, because if she has to move to another lane and your opponent has four cards, Captain Marvel's kind of stuck there. Uh, KGB, though, does have an out with New York, so can drop it safely behind Cosmo this turn, and then slide Captain Marvel over to New York next turn and still have the opportunity to fill up Mojo World if necessary. So kind of an interesting situation here that, you know, you get to both leverage the safety of Cosmo this turn and then move Captain Marvel out to New York next turn. Darkhawk, is this interaction not going to give Boomer a zero power Clintar? He's trolling. It's too early in the timer for this to be his actual play. It looks locked to me. The one time Boomer snap oh my plays. God. Wait, what are we? What are we doing here, dude? Oh, Deadpool emote in three, two. One. A. <laughs> all right, so Boomer is showing that uh, they are only human after all, making the first mistake that I've seen. Yeah, it's exciting. Both of these players are ultimately going to be in the top eight, but they're playing for the bragging rights of being the only undefeated player in the final bracket in the top eight cut. In the meantime, we have some caster predictions on the desk. I've run the numbers. I've done the math. And for those of you curious, following along at home, or maybe playing in the tournament, wondering about the top eight contention, my prediction, and this is not final, it is merely a prediction, but my prediction is we will have one player finishing the Swiss bracket at 7-0. We will have six players finishing with a 6-1 and one score, and we should have one single lucky player with a 5-2 score who makes it in on tiebreakers. So if you are in contention, if you are X1, or if you're X2 and you're staying in it, uh, if the tiebreakers are in your favor, you just may have a shot still. Uh, exciting time to be on the bubble. <laughs> Incredible. What a showing. <laughs> Just two back-to-back tenos. These players splitting them. And One you know what that each. means, Tibbs? That means that when all is said and done, it's a tie. It's it's a it's a perfectly split down the middle, perfectly balanced as all as things, all should, things be. should be. <laughs> Thank you so much for checking out my content. I stream every weekday at twitch.tv slash and I cast Marvel Snap tournaments most weekends. I'll be looking forward to seeing you around.